What is going on you beautiful people? In today's video I'm going to be taking you on a walk through a build I've just done which is a prison and then straight after I've done the walk through excuse that I am actually walking through so if I like pull back or pull forwards and it is going to be hard I don't know how to do this properly yet but I'm going to figure it out I'm doing a walk through of my prison that I just built with the new lost dungeon set which is that one the one just there and afterwards I'm going to show you how to build it so without further ado let's walk around this goddamn castle or prison and, uh, and then I'll show you how to build it so let's go through the front door or gate I've got two arena gates you can see there and then you come through whoa 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 so as you can see the gates there I'm just gonna come here to the side and I'm just gonna do a slow pan all the way around the bottom forge for floor just so you can see what it looks like and as you can see, each cell is actually functional. I just left the gates off of it because on the video purposes, if I had the gates on it, you wouldn't really see it that well. Oh. Is that a toilet? <sighs> right, enough of that. This is looking at it from the opposite corner. As you can see, to my right is actually the stairwell. And it is a spiral stairwell. Pretty hard to do with this set. But I'm going to show you how to do it. And as you can see, as we sweep to the left, we've got some gates here. And uh, just through there... You could probably see the doorway. That's because there's a goddamn watchtower. Right, let's try and head up these stairs, which are not the easiest of things with the ghost on and the 105 view camera. But as you can see, you go up the stairs, fully functional stairs, no issues, apart from the brazers kind of attached to the fence. But it is what it is. Let's head outside. And here's a sweep from the top, looking from left to right. On the top landing and the stairs were there to my right that we just came up and now in the opposite corner at the top from left to right you can see I don't know what that blimmin noise is you can't hear it because I'm gonna probably cut out the in-game sound and uh, yet again they've all got their hide in that what is that all oh, right it's uh, a giant snake Against a giant baboon. Do you mind? Against a giant baboon. <laughs> and I'm just going to head back down. And from downstairs, if you were to head through this doorway here into the control tower, it is yet again fully functional. I've got the Azir staircase going up. So it's nice and skinny and easy to use. It goes all the way up from the inside. And if you use this arch rather than a ceiling, you can still somehow walk through it. Whereas a ceiling doesn't kind of let you. So that's pretty cool. Nice little nimble feature. And I put storm glass up here. So on this, uh, I've got the Lost Dungeon, storm glass, and the Azir steps. And my steps are really juddery. Let's go outside. From outside of the control tower at the top, as you can see, you can see over the whole prison. So it's a pretty cool spot, especially if you had some armors. Remember, at the end of the day, with everything that you see down there, if you were to fill out the landing, obviously raise the gates a little bit and fill out the whole landing, you could obviously raise the second floor to have a two-story second floor if the gates were raised as well. You'd have a nice, clean... Oh, my God, look at that snake. That snake is flipping huge. You could make this into a proper functional base. And the exterior walls have got 100,000 health, so it's really, really good. Now, I've also made from the control tower stairs that go down, so you can walk across the whole top landing on this. There's a control tower from this view. We'll do another sweep. we we'll go from... Oh, by the way, if you didn't see the last video and you want to see me make... If you like this prison build, or even if you don't like this prison build and you want to see how I make that goddamn castle using this set, then go ahead and go over to that video and check that out as well. So we're going to sweep from left to right, as you can see. And uh, the gate also has some steps... So you can walk straight over it and get to the other side and you can look down from this side as well of what it looks like. I think it's rather cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do a quick fly around just so you can see what it looks like all the way from the outside. That's it from the outside. Now, I'm going to have to do the sad thing and delete everything on it to show you me building it. And I swear uh, an orb just flew past my camera. Probably a ghost. But... Who cares? I'm going to be showing you how to make this prison. Right, let's pull out that hammer. Oh, this is going to hurt. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything down to base level, okay? Okay, now we've got it all down to base level. As you can see, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 across the front, which is 
this part right here. There's nine that runs across there. Then heading up, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, again, nine across the back. And then from the second or the third one in, sorry, you go three back. And yet again, all the way over to the other side. But here on the back, there is five. And then what you can see, I've left these pillars here. But in order to do these pillars, let me quickly just show you the trick. Now, the easiest way to do it is going to be going ahead and going over to sandstone. Sorry, pulling out the sandstone stairs. Because traditionally, you can't put the pillars there. They only go in the middle of each block. They're in the middle of the block. So traditionally, you can put the pillars there. Ignore what I'm saying. I'm talking absolute rubbish. You can put them there. So I've got the four pillars there. And what I'm going to do immediately with these is go six high with these. This is going to be the way I start. Okay. I know what I was meant. What I was meant? What I was meant to say. Right, go back over to sandstone. Because what we want to do is we want actually these to be the exterior of our ceiling placement. We don't want them to be, as you can see, if I was to grab a ceiling, it goes over. We don't want that. We want them to be in the middle. Right. So, let's take it back. Let's go to sandstone. Let's pull out these stairs. Let's do that. We'll grab a pillar. We're actually going to... So, we're going to do the sandstone pillars. Only some dungeon pillars are a little bit clunky. We'll delete that. Okay. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put a ceiling on that one. If it lets me... Uh... Right, I'm going to delete that. Okay, this is, this, is, this is going really good, guys. Game, you're letting me down. Right. We're starting from scratch. Stairs, down. Pillar, down. I'm going to go up twice just because I don't know what happened there. That goes on top of that. Okay. Right, we're getting somewhere. Now, I'm going to go ahead and from that one, I'm going to build another stair. From that stair, I'm going to go ahead and build another pillar. On this pillar, I'm bringing it down. The reason I'm bringing it down is because you're about to see. I can then now put a ceiling. No, I can't. Why can't I connect and ever do it? Right. Stairs. For some reason, you can only do this from too high. Because this game loves to absolute troll me. Let's put them stairs. Now we're going to put a pillar. 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 Okay, now we're going to grab that. And then it's going to let me. So now that it's let me, I'm going to delete them pillars. Okay, I'm going to quickly, before I lose the placement, is put them down there. Wait, why does that look so funny? If I just... What are you doing, Snake? Oh, I haven't moved it at all. That's, that's... <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job at this, guys. I'm new to the building videos. We will figure it out. How did I manage that? Right, stairs. Is that how we want it? Okay, okay, okay. This works. Right. So you only need to do the stair trick once with this. Right, and then you can get it exactly how you want it. Now, obviously, ideally, the best pillars I've learned to use is the stable. Cheers, Eradication. You're the guy who told me about that. Get the... the, the da, 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 da. No, I haven't done it right. I've done it wrong. Okay, I need to move one back. Okay, stairs out. Right, sandstone ste stealing. Ceiling. There, there. Right, now we're going to go over to the stable and grab the stable legs. And now, as you can see, they're perfectly on the corner. That is exactly how we want them. Yet, yeah, lucky for me, I've done it one too far back. But because I've already got the uh, the base down, it's easy for me to adjust. If you do want it six wide, then go ahead and do six wide. That is completely up to you. Now we're going to go six up. That looks high with the stable ones because they're so skinny. Wait, my son's going down. What the hell has happened here? Right. Trying to time to noon and freeze time and freeze sky. That was probably really dark on screen. I'm so sorry. There's six. I just went and buggered myself, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Right, not to worry. Right, before I lose it, let me go ahead and just put the walls down. That means I'll always be able to snap the ceiling piece on. 
and then that is the base of that tower done. I might actually go ahead and make the tower first. Okay, if I'm going to do the tower first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use storm glass. You can obviously use what you want, but I like to have the windows here. Okay, and then I'm going to do storm wall. Keep an eye out for that arrow to see which way you've got to face it, which I'm definitely not doing. Okay, the top two we want to leave blank. glass. From here we can go ahead and put the three ceiling pieces on. There we go, put the storm glass. Now I will do this around the whole top, but what I want to do while I've still got that hole exposed, oh, 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 whoa, okay, is I'll go ahead and go to my Azir. Obviously you can use whatever stairwell you want. If you do actually want to make a stairwell that works properly, you might want to go ahead and make this three blocks because the two blocks might be a little bit hard to do if you do not have the Azir. But let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and there you can see the stairwell works properly, nicely. But no, it don't because we need to go down one more floor. Okay, there's it from the bottom. Let's quickly delete that. Okay, why is my head too big for it now? It does not make any sense. So what we do is we delete that. And remember what I said before, actually, with using the storm glass. It was... Actually, we use the storm glass for this. So you can do this with this. It has to be the ceiling pieces that look like this, the vaulted. Now you put them into the corners. And as you can see now, now I can walk down. If you use the standard bits, it doesn't let you. It's, it's, it's rather odd how it works. But, yeah, it just does not let you if you use the normal bits, which is rather odd, rather strange. But, hey-ho, we get by, we move on. Now, because obviously I didn't want this to be, like, a, a, a have a gap here. And I didn't want you to just be like, oh, 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 hello, quick way down. No, I didn't want that. So what I did here is I got another one of them pieces, which were here. God. And I put it like that. And I know it doesn't, like, make it completely obvious. But at least that way, you don't actually fall down. You could. Just try not to, please. Now you can have glass there. You could put whatever you want there. It's completely up to you. I wish there was a half fence. So, Funcom, if you do ever watch this, half fence would be really cool. At least that way you could probably do some more things with it. Make it, things look really cool. Let's go ahead and we'll put a door on this. Where are you, door? No, definitely not a gate door. That's not going to work. Right, we're going to come out. And now I'm going to grab the ceiling pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that around that whole floor. Now, to make the actual top look slightly different, you want to grab the ceiling pieces and put it on there. Then it's not so um, built up and it looks more like an actual tower. So you go ahead and delete the top row. You should put that top row on after you've done this. Oops. And then if we go ahead and we get the... I prefer this fence for the top. Remember, this is completely optional, especially the way you make the tower. You do not have to do it like this. Okay, 
and then for the next bit I'm going to put normal fencing round, which is this one just to change up the way it looks slightly from one to another and from the watchtower as well you want to be able to see down and if you do have the top part fencing on it you can't really see down I'm going to leave that one space open as you saw before I made stairs that went down onto the tall part now the stairs these are very odd to do as you can see I've had to put foundations and I've had to put normal uh, let me go to the pieces so the foundations are these ones they've got the darker top and the ones that you're actually seeing are me using fulcron cryptid and that was just so it clips to a hard piece it's really odd how it works and I've done a way to make it so you can get an even better spin so if you don't like the way that spins up there and you want to twist it slightly then all you have to do simply is grab a ceiling piece put it there grab it and then from there you can actually give it another twist so that's just a little tip that I've, I've learned using this build. Oh, I'm throwing invisible hands. Now, we you can see here, I've actually got a lowered floor. So, in order to achieve that lowered floor, what you'd have to do is you have to delete this one. You can't use a, obviously a fence piece from here. It doesn't let you. So, go ahead and go to, for instance, sandstone. Grab a sandstone fence piece. You can drop it down. And then, from there, you can lower it. And then, you basically, what you want to do, essentially, is just keep lowering it until you get it to the... the desired depth now I really like this depth so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it there now from here you're gonna want to actually um, get your gates now the gates I used were storm glass I'm gonna do the gates first before anything because you can always build around it yet again it's very very messy to try and get the gates to work and lock on nicely so this could take a few moments oh I had it then well, there's the back one. Let's get rid of that back one. And let's get that front one done first. So there's the front one. I don't know if that's going to work. Because that one looks like it's in, inside a little bit too much. It is. Let's do the back one first. The front one's not sticking all the way out. Which is not good. Aha! Right, I've managed to get the front one to stick out. The reason I do the back one facing the other way. Because from the inside you don't want them arched pillars. I think it looks rather odd. Let's go grab a ceiling piece on the storm glass because the gate is storm glass I like to match it all up and I think it looks rather nice then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to arena now I use this gate you can yet again use whatever you want but I think for a prison these gates really fit the theme so there's that and then now I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Lost Dungeon. And uh, just as you can see, yeah, I run the foundations all the way along. So this is all foundations along the middle part. And the outside part I used, yet yeah, again, it was that arch ceiling. And I made it look like there was arches. Now to do the pillars, you saw over there how I did the pillars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these pillars up now. I'm going to go one higher than needed. Just so I can get the... I can always delete it afterwards, remember. But if you don't, it just makes things really hard. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the stable one so I don't have any issues. Because they can cause issues and it's not fun. Okay, there's that. Now, for the walls, what I did is I went ahead and went to dungeon. In the middle here, I put it so the windows were facing outwards. They have got an inwards outwards feature. I need to spin that around. It's really hard to see. There we go. So know which side the metal's on. Let's not worry too much about that. And then yet again on this side, I do the same thing. And I run it up the middle here. And then back up the middle here. The windows. I'm doing that first just so I don't lose track of where I am. Now, unfortunately for here, because the stairs, we can't do the windows exactly how we want them there. Because the stairs take up quite a lot of space. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually put the other stairs on quickly. So we get the right rotation. From there, I'm going to want to go ahead and put a ceiling on. And that will give me my landing. So I think I've gone one too high. No, I haven't. That's perfect. Now we're going to chuck these on because these are really hard to place afterwards. Let's try and get these on nice and early. OK, 
because they can actually mess up your whole build if you don't get them on early. Now we don't want to block up that one because that one is covering. Right, I need to remove that ceiling. Yet yeah, again, these pieces are very fiddly. Where's that ceiling? There she is. Place that there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all these ceilings and I'm going to change them afterwards because from these pieces, you can switch it to that. And obviously, then you can switch back to these. But when you've got one of these and then you want to try and place one underneath, you can't. Whereas if you've got one of these and you want to place one underneath, it lets you. So, rather odd, that's why I'm going to go ahead and do all the crypt ceilings to start off with and get the, the right look. Keep messing up. Trying to get the right walkways going around. And then afterwards I'll go and change the aesthetics with it. Yeah, again, if you want to do it in, in the other way, it's completely up to you. It's just going to make life a little bit harder to get it right. Or at least that's what I found. Maybe you find it rather easy, but I definitely did not. Now, with that one, we are going to put a piece here. But until we've got a solid wall there, it will not let me... I'm chatting rubbish. It will let me because it's connecting to the ceiling. Right, brilliant. So, from there, I know here I had... Did I have that there or did I have it set back? I had it set back there. And then I had that one set there. Right, now I'm going to go and get the Lost Dungeon walls. And I'm going to run it all the way around in all the gaps that I haven't filled. Uh-oh. I messed up, didn't I? Oh, it lit me. Perfect. I'm going to leave that open. Here, I'm going to put another one there and there. Now, because of the way this gate is, I'm going to do it. I might actually give it a bit more space this time. Because last time it was a bit more crowded. You could walk around the whole thing. But if you look. Oh, you walk around and it's like this little sliver. And it didn't look right with the door. So I suppose. Well. I mean I could do it like that. So it still looks right with the door. I don't know. Yeah I'm going to do that. Don't really remember. It's a prison at the end of the day. You don't. You don't want to be able to walk around. I believe that's exterior wall done. No, it's not. Will be done now. Now with them stairs, we go back to storm glass. Let's grab them stairs. Now, if it doesn't let me, yes, it does. There we go. Drop them there. There you go. We got the stairs. Just double check. Yep, you can walk over it. Perfecto. Right, now we want to go ahead. And how does this look? Let's just quickly see what this looks like. I mean, I think it's good. What I'm going to do is I might actually this time remove that. And just run that up as a solid block. Now I'm going to go ahead before anything and grab these gates. Just do these before I forget. It looks a bit more fitting with this gate here. I mean, yes, you can walk around. Do you want to walk around? Completely up to you. Probably should change them pillars. I'll change them after. It's absolutely fine. Right, now, 
we're going to go ahead and start changing. Let's just, just confirm. Just confirm. Yeah, the prison's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start changing these. Actually, no. Because I can change them afterwards, I'm going to do the gates. Now, I'm actually going to just do them all as solid gates. And then I can put the door on afterwards. I don't know if it makes a difference pointing out. I'm just going to do that. And then I don't know whether to put... Get, yeah, I'm going to put a grate there because I want you to be able to see it as you're going up the stairs. Here, we're going to put that. Just gives it a bit of extra depth, making it look like you can go into the stairs. Just me, maybe, but I like that. Right. And then in here, it's just going to be two separate cells. So there's two. And then we're going to do the same again on this side. side we managed to get three cells because it's got a little bit more space let's go and put the doors on now okay then from here we'll go ahead and grab these and simply, you can make this look however you want. If you want it on the outside, to give it that, you can. It's completely up to you yet again. I like it on the inside. That's completely up to you, the way you style it there. So, have I got it? Yeah, I actually like that. Brilliant. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Yeah, happy. Satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. I don't know if it looks as good as it does be did before, but who cares? Right. First things first. Let's just chuck a goddamn light in here just to give us a little bit more vibrance. Okay. <laughs> don't chuck that light in here. You ain't going to see nothing. You can see what we're working with a little bit better. That was pretty dark before. I don't... Nah, I'm going to have to change this, guys. I'm probably going to prefer it like that. Yeah, each cell looking like they've got an actual archway. Oh, I don't know. That looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments down below what one, what way, what way you preferred. I think that's just fits it a little bit better. Because now that pillar rolls onto that pillar a little bit better, gives it a little bit more dynamic. I think it looks rather nice. If you do want to, I didn't do it last time, but you can put the half pillars there just to give it a little bit more oomph so they don't look like floating. Completely up to you. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm going to do it. Oh. 
Okay, so we've done that with the half pillars. We've done that with the arches. Now you could go ahead and do the exact same thing on the inside if you wanted to. You could grab that and you could jet again. Put it like that. Completely up to you. On this, just because I want to make it a little bit quicker for you guys, I'm going to pass on that. And we're not going to do that. So up here as well, we're going to want to go ahead and grab the gates. Let's run them along. And it's going to be two on this side. And yet again, three on this side. That is the stairway. Is it functional? Yes, it is. Perfecto. Right, let me grab that. Let me stick that there. Now, I'm going to just give this a little bit more depth. Do that. Do that. We can get out of that as well. So, it keeps it cool looking. Up here, we're going to have the arches on the outside, like that. Right, there's that. Remember, if you do actually spin around the fences, it doesn't have so much clunk, so it don't really look like this. So just spin it to make it look better for you completely optional yet again but that's what I would suggest go back down to storm let's go to the fences from here I just use the open ones and then on the top we have got the fuller ones just because I needed to then I need to go ahead and grab the fulcrum walls now with these you can put them either way it's completely up to you so you can have it so the graves display the with a tomb or whatever it is displaying or the wall in this case I prefer it just a plain wall I'm gonna go grab the fence Now, I could go and put that on there, but I think if you put that on top, it looks too open. So, typically, for the top part, I'd just put these ones. Because then it don't make it look too aggressive, but it still gives it that uh, defense so people can't just go and climb over your wall. Yet yeah, again, if you don't want them climbing up, you can put it down uh, quite far on these blocks as well, which is really good to do. And it is good because you can snap fences all the way up these walls because they're blocks, typically. It's like they're all foundations. Okay, that is the fence part done with the stairs. Now I want to go ahead and change all them pillars because you saw they were stable before. Because they're stable pillars, I could probably go storm glass. I don't know what that's going to look like. I mean, don't look bad. You could do that, or you could go down the dungeon pillar route. It's completely up to you. When the pillars are changed, you can change it and make it look exactly how you want. Go crazy with it. I mean, send me your screenshots of how you've built it. If you've built it, I'm curious. It changes up that wood and makes it look rather nice. The storm pillars, actually. Now we're on the side of the sun. I want to just see what that looks like. Nah, it's not as good as I thought it would look. Let's just look at Tyrannian. Definitely not. 
what else have we got? Black ice. What do them pillars look like? I mean, if you want the squared off effect, it's pretty cool. We won't do his ear. The arena. Too light, I think. So we're going to go back to the dungeon pillars. That's the dungeon pillars. That's the gate. That's the top. Now I need to just quickly do them stairs. Unfortunately, the stairs do clip through these fences. I don't know if there is a workaround. I haven't managed to figure out a workaround. But it, it's the only way I could do it as a run. Now let me just quickly remove that. Let me get that. But you, after you've done that, you can go ahead and put them fences back. If you guys could think of a way for me to have it so you don't have that shown through, it'd be really cool to to see your ideas. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a, an idea for it. Maybe that. Would that work? No, it does not work, unfortunately. I mean, it could work. I could do that in a sense. No, because there would still be a gap there. It's not going to look right. But that's it. That's the only negative, I think, with this, is you've got that. The tower works. You can see we can go in here. And we can go down. You could change it to make it look however you want. As a tower. The reason I put the glass, because as you know, with these towers, normally in a prison, they like to be able to see out and see what's going on. And uh, yet again, you can still walk around this if you want to. I need to change them wooden pillars there to dungeon. You head back out into the dungeon. And you can design it how you want. Both uh, doors functional. And because we've gone ahead and put them stairs up there, it actually gives it a better arch on the inside. With no holes, so it looks really well placed. There's the arches. There's the cells. Now, all I did to design it before was simply I went over to the... Yeah, again, if you had the dungeon stuff, you could make it look really cool. You could put actually people in the cells on the dungeon stuff, which looked really cool. Let's go to carpets. I just grabbed the hired rugs. With the hired rugs, I come in here. I place them down. And then I also found the bucket, which is not there. I mean, you can find what you want. I think, obviously, a bucket is more fitting for a toilet in a prison. Where's the bucket? Have I gone past it? Maybe I have. Maybe I've gone past it multiple times. Who knows? Hmm. Where are you, Bucket? There you are. I definitely went past it. Place the bucket in the corner. And then if you did have the dungeon bed, obviously even better because it's like a bit of straw. You've got the rug. you got your bucket. You've got your prison. Oh, do you know what I have done? Is I have made this one ceiling too many. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my dungeon build tutorial. If you, oh, my prison, sorry, build tutorial. If you like it, obviously make sure you leave a like. Subscribe, and I'm going to be making more of these. I'm going to try and do one build a day. And I'm going to try and do quite a lot of builds with this set as well. So if you've got it, at least you can do it. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. I put some storm glass stairs there. So without further ado, like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!